And Spokane Democrats were watching the commissioner's race very, very closely since Democrats have not had a seat on the commission for many years. Kyle Simchuk spent the evening at their watch party tonight. Kyle, what was the mood like in there this evening? Mark, the party started to die down a little bit. We actually had to move out of the ballroom because there is a very loud band playing. You probably wouldn't be able to hear me if we were in there, but there was a lot of cheering, a lot of excitement when those initial results came out around 8.15. And as you mentioned, a lot of people here keeping a close eye on the county commissioner races. That's because there's two new seats up for grabs, two new positions on the ballot. Democrat Chris Jordan uh, leading his challenger. Here's what he told the crowd earlier. My campaign in District 1 was always about new voices at the table, building a strong middle class in Spokane, and a community where everybody belongs. And one of the closest and most watched is another county commissioner seat, Maggie Yates, narrowly behind incumbent Al French. Here's what she had to say. As you know, we are in a very tight race in the 5th District for county commissioner. Right now, uh, we are separated by less than 600 votes with more than... With more than 10,000 ballots still to be counted. As you all know, the elections office is going to... So Yates there telling voters to hold tight. We also heard from Natasha Hill. She's 11 points behind Kathy, Congresswoman Kathy McMorris-Rogers. Uh, Hill said she's proud of what they've accomplished so far. We also heard from Spokane County Auditor Vicki Dalton. She thanked the crowd here tonight. And she said that people just need to hold tight. And uh, really on Friday is when we'll first start to get a good picture of, of what these results will look like. Still a lot of ballots left to be counted again. These are just the initial results. I'll send it back to you.